importance of Iman and Taqwa. Iman is the foundation of our faith, and Taqwa is the manifestation of that faith in our actions. Increasing both is crucial for a fulfilling and meaningful life. Outline of the Lecture We will explore various avenues to enhance our Iman and Taqwa, including Understanding the meanings of Iman and Taqwa Reciting the Quran and understanding its verses Following the Sunnah of the Prophet Making Dua, Supplication Reflecting on the Hereafter Engaging in Acts of Worship Seeking knowledge of Islam Building positive relationships Controlling the tongue and mind Understanding Iman and Taqwa Iman, it is a firm belief in Allah, His angels, His books, His messengers, the day of judgment, and predestination Story of the Prophet's companions Recount the story of the companions who were tested by Allah but remained steadfast in their faith Taqwa it is a conscious awareness of Allah's presence and a fear of His punishment, leading to right. Verse from the Quran, Indeed, the most righteous among you are those who fear Allah the most. Reciting the Quran and understanding its verses. Importance of the Quran. It is the divine guidance from Allah and the source of healing for the soul. Recitation with understanding. Encourage the audience to recite the Quran with understanding, using tafsir, Quranic commentary, to grasp its meanings. Story of Umar bin Qatab Share the story of Umar's conversion after hearing Surah Taha. Reflecting on the verses Discuss how reflecting on the stories and teachings in the Quran can strengthen our faith and taqwa. Following the Sunnah of the Prophet The best example the Prophet is the perfect role model. Following his Sunnah is essential for increasing Iman and Taqwa. Sunnah in Daily Life Discuss how to incorporate the Sunnah into daily life, such as performing wuzu, offering salah, and treating others with kindness. Hadith, I am a human being like you. If I see something good, I follow it, and if I see something bad, I avoid it. Making Dua, Supplication The Power of Dua Dua is a powerful tool for seeking Allah's help and guidance. Etiquette of Dua Discuss the etiquette of making Dua, including facing the Qibla, raising one's hands, and expressing humility. Hadith Allah is closer to a servant when he is in prostration. Reflecting on the Hereafter The Accountability of the Grave Remind the audience of the accountability in the grave and the importance of preparing for the hereafter. The Day of Judgment Discuss the consequences of our actions in this life and the importance of striving for paradise. Verse from the Quran And whoever does righteous work and is a believer, we will admit them to gardens beneath which rivers flow, wherein they will abide forever. Engaging in Acts of Worship Five Pillars of Islam Discuss the importance of fulfilling the five pillars of Islam, including Shaida, Sulla, Zakat, Psalm, and Hajj. Additional Acts of Worship Encourage the audience to engage in additional acts of worship, such as Zikr, Tasbih, and Istighfar. Hadith, the best deeds are regular, even if they are small. Seeking Knowledge of Islam Importance of Knowledge Knowledge is the light of Islam. Seek knowledge from reliable sources and share it with others. Learning Groups Encourage the audience to join learning groups or attend Islamic lectures to expand their knowledge. Hadith The ink of a scholar is better than the blood of a martyr. Building positive relationships. Kindness and compassion. Treat others with kindness and compassion, as it reflects our faith in Allah. Forgiving others. Forgive those who have wronged us, as Allah loves those who forgive. Verse from the Quran And forgive them and overlook their offenses. Is it not better for you that Allah Controlling the tongue and mind Guarding the tongue Be mindful of what we say and avoid backbiting, slander, and harmful speech. Purifying the heart Strive to purify our hearts from envy, jealousy, and hatred. 
Hadith. The believer is the one whose tongue and hand are safe for the Muslims. Conclusion. Summary of key points, recap the main points discussed in the lecture. Encouragement to act. Encourage the audience to implement the teachings into their lives and strive to increase their iman and taqwa. Dua. Offer a supplication for the audience's spiritual growth and guidance.